Hi, my name is Chad Adams. I'm a skeleton key in St. Louis, Missouri. And I want to make a quick video to explain one aspect of schema locking that I think is very critical and yet not a lot of people are, are aware of. Um, so let's get into this. First, let me show you exactly what I've got set up here so you can, you can better understand what I'm talking about. Um, I'm on a Mac. I've got a, a file open as a guest of my VMware. I've got VMware open in here with it also logged in as a guest. So I'm mimicking uh, two users on the same file, trying to get it all on one screen so you can see it in this video. So um, two different clients, both both uh, logged into the same same file. Okay, um, let's take a look. The issue I want you to be aware of is that when you have an auto enter serial number in your system, it's very easy to lock that system in such a way that other users cannot add new records. All right, let's take a look at that. I go into Manage Database. When I'm in Manage Database, people can still add new records. But as soon as I go a little bit deeper and I look at a calculation, for example, I haven't changed the calculation yet, just open the Specify Calculation window and I'm looking around. And when I do that, boom, I get a message saying I can't add records because Chad Adams is modifying the database. Please try again later. And I, I can't lock or I can't add new records. Um, once I've opened the, the specified calculation and I've locked the system, then it's going to stay locked until I exit completely out of managed database. So I've closed that, but it's not cool yet. If I come back here, it still has me locked. So if I'm as a developer coming in and I, I need to look around at something, and I think I'll just look at that real fast and then close it and everybody's you know, back to normal, not the case. I've got to get all the way out of managed database before it, it lets go of the file. So now I'm out and we can see that I'm, I'm back to being able to add and delete records. Okay. Um, it's not just calculation fields. Any field, when I click on this options button and pull up more information about that field so I can make changes, that locks the system from being able to create new records. Or rather locks other clients from being able to create new records. Um, so I can, I can look around here. I can stay at this managed database level and, and everything's cool. But as soon as I, as soon as I uh, go a little bit deeper, then I'm going to be locked out. Okay. Now, having said that, I can look at relationships a little deeper than I can fields. I can be on the relationships tab, and that works. I can even look at a TO, and that's going to be fine. Okay, I can even look um, at a relationship and modify the relationship. Okay, I, mean, I can go back and leave that open. All that stuff is going to, you know, leave me in a good spot. All right. Um, I don't really want to put that in there. Um, I can use this through scripts. Let's go back here and I'll put this into a locked state. And we'll run um, an example one script here, which is just calling a new, a new record. I get the message. Again, let's take a look at that so you can see what's happening. It's just a new record request. Okay. Or I can call um, new record. This one has error capture on, no message, but no new record either. Again, let's take a look at that so you can see what's happening. Air capture on, new record. So, you know, if you've got scripts that are creating stuff, doing some sort of process creating new records, and you as the developer are in managed database looking at something, there's a very good chance that you are messing up uh, that user's ability to do their work, and they may not even be being alerted to that um, if you're using auto enter serial numbers. Now, what can I do about this? One thing I can do is to move this to instead of being on creation, on commit. At first glance, it seems like that fixes the issue for me. Let's take a look. So I go in here, I put myself into a known locked state, I go to my client, and new record, boom, no message, everything's cool. John Doe is my, my user, and there we go, I'm, I'm in, I've created a new record, no errors, it's all, it's all good and well. There's a couple things you need to understand about the on commit um, process. First of all, in general, dealing with on commit, you've got the issue um, that, like this, where I've got a, a user, I've got like an auto enter portal where it's set to automatically create new records, and I can click in here um, like this, and I keep keep adding phone numbers for this person. Um, pretty simple stuff there. But if I do the on commit um, serial number, and I do new record, and I type in Jane Doe. I try to enter Jane's phone number. I get this error message 
telling me that basically I don't have an ID number yet for Jane because I've not committed the record. So until I commit that record, I can't be adding child records. Now there's all kinds of ways to, to work around that and there's all kinds of things we as developers can do, but you need to be aware that that's there. That's not the big issue though. The big issue with the using the oncommit is this right here. When I entered John Doe earlier, even though it let me do it, I didn't get an ID number. It skipped the ID number. This is my primary key. It just didn't enter it. Let's take a look at that again. I'll stay on this layout. We'll go into a locked, um, I'll try to move this over so we can see kind of behind here. I'll go into a locked state. So now I know that we're locked. I'll move to my secondary client. I'll enter new record. Sam Spade, commit the record. In the background, you saw the record get going right there. And I come back to this screen. Okay, okay. Sam Spade, no ID number. So that's why I don't think that um, using the on commit as a, as a workaround to this issue is a very good idea because it, the issue is still there. It's just a little more hidden and you don't, aren't getting the, uh, the error. So um, something I think you definitely should be aware of. It's, it's you know, potentially um, a big issue. And like I said, I don't think a lot of people are aware of it. So I think the, the main thing to remember when you're working on a live system and, and you as a developer are trying to look around at stuff, you should approach the whole situation and be very afraid. Be afraid.